Burbex. Hi, welcome back to Burbex, Bryn's Urban Exploration. Today we've got a double whammy. We're gonna explore two golden buildings. The first golden building that we're exploring is this magnificent 30-story abandoned skyscraper hotel. Gold cladding all around it, so kitschy. The second thing we're going to do is try and bust into the adjoining hotel, which is also gold, not so bling, but still gold, and see if we can get around that. I'm going to give you loads more information about these places as we explore them. Don't forget, if you love urban exploration videos with a China twist, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to ding, ding, ding that bell for great new videos from Burbex, Bryn's Urban Exploration every week. Let's go. What's that song? Uh, Spandau Ballet or something. Gold, gold, always believe in your... You know that song? You are gold, gold, always believe in your soul. You had the power to live, you're indestructible. Da, 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 da. You know that song? Dun. Very 80s song. Always believe in your soul. One of the wonderful things about this building is that when the sunlight hits it, it basically radiates all around it. That actually looks quite beautiful, but I imagine for the people who live in the houses nearby and all the light is shining through the windows, it must be infuriating for them. Despite that, this is a really beautiful building and it's amazing that it's just been abandoned like this. Be careful, there's an elevator shaft right to your right, right behind you. You fall down that, you're fucked. They can't see us from here. It's very wet up here though. Definitely picked the right day to come out and explore. See up there, there's a helicopter pad. I'm not sure how we're going to get up there though. We're about 30 floors up right now. This is a long way down. How are we going to get up there?
this is beautiful. We gotta be careful just there. Look. Holy shit, look at this place. There's somebody in the car park. Just there. He's right outside the front door. I don't know if he's wearing a black suit. Got in the car. I'm so excited right now, my hands are shaking. There's everything left here. This looks like it's some kind of epic poem. Looks like the top floors of this place are collapsing. Look, what do we got here? Mm -hmm. Grand Ballroom, Executive Lounge, Library, Japanese Association. Shit, this place must be full of stuff. Oh, look at this dragon.
that's amazing. Which way is up? Holy shit, really, everything is left behind. You can see we're just at the top of this building here. But this hotel has now exceeded our expectations. There's this Japanese themed restaurant. Look at these curtains. Oh my God. This is crazy. Look at these Japanese style curtains. They're so elegant. You might not recognize this guy, but that's a tanuki. Tanuki is also called a badger dog. They are mythical, well, they're real animals, but they've got magical powers in Japanese culture. Oh, look at this one with the blowfish on it. we found a kimono. This one's trashed. I don't know if you can hear this, but everything is completely soaked and covered in black mold. There's a fuzzball table. Well, these fuzzball players look very Chinese. Sauna here. Where's the sauna? Yeah. This room? Oh yeah, look at this. Why, why is the building and why is the sauna? Universal Ever Rich Club Sauna. Jesus, this is a bit fancy. I can't even tell what's going on here. Was this a shower room? Swimming pool? Both, I think. It's a sauna.
So this is basically like a combination of a swimming pool, a sauna and a jacuzzi. These seats that I'm sitting in, you can see, they like shoot jets of water and massage your body. Very comfortable. I wish this thing was working right now. I'd love to do that. I've got to admit, I'm kind of lost right now. Holy crap, look at this. What is this machine? Some kind of hydrotherapy machine, I think. Looks nice though. Ross, oh, going in the library now. Spectacular China. So many Chinese books here. see most of these meetings are dated 2011. They've got lots of English books here actually. Anything good? It's a really old school. Yeah, we've well, got to the hotel rooms now. Oh yeah, they're open. Jesus, the hotel rooms are completely open. Literally all the rooms are open. This is crazy. Everything is still here. Even the TVs. We're on the fifth floor now. See there's some gym equipment. Trouser press. I don't think I've ever used a trouser press in my life. Mm. Hi, welcome to Bob Exercise with me, Bryn. What better way to lose weight and dry your hair at the same time with the Panasonic hair dryer and the Johnson Stairmaster. It still works as well. It's crazy. 63 beats a minute. It's not bad, is it? Best hotel in Shanghai. Abandoned one anyway. Do you think we can get on the roof? This is really surprising. Some kind of Buddhist altar.
No. I guess Buddha has been playing PlayStation. This is amazing. Oh, this room is really nice. Look at these red and red elephants. Jesus, how's that for a view? And of course you can see the golden building that we went up earlier as well. All different art books. You see this one's about Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Knowledge for students. Imagine soaking in this bath. Look, there's even a chaise long. This is the executive suite. Look at the size of that bed. You could have a family of five in that bed. Look at the details on it too. This complex includes the skyscraper, which is over there, and also this luxury hotel. This place actually went under in about 2015 when the skyscraper was still under construction, but the hotel was operating at that time. So this was a live hotel at once, and I think it opened in like 2010, 2011. The company that ran this place owed 270 million renminbi. To put that in perspective, that's 42 and a half million dollars. So um, obviously the company went under and the bank took everything back. In 2018, this whole complex, the skyscraper and the hotel uh, went up for auction and they were expecting to get 600 million renminbi, which in American dollars is $93 million. Uh, in 2018, they had that auction, but it didn't meet the asking price. And so right now it's just like laying here to rut. Buildings start to collapse. You can see that in the main lobby. There's black mold everywhere. Even though it's still quite opulent, it's kind of dangerous as well. Uh, and we are definitely the first urban explorers to come into this place. We got really lucky getting into this place today. Yeah, let's go and take a further look around. This is the executive lounge and it's very executive. I like it, like Gordon Gecko. Here's another of the luxury rooms. You can see this one's falling apart more. Quite stylish paintings on the wall. Jesus, look at this thing. This has been carved out of one piece of wood. It doesn't really matter what this thing's made of. Whatever it's made of, it's worth tens of thousands of yuan. garden area. Fuck. Oh, 
This is what the hotel would have looked like. You can see it's got the helipad on top. Here you can see there's a picture of Formula One driver Michael Schumacher in 2005. We're very close to the Shanghai racetrack, so it makes sense that he would have stayed here. Is he dead?